In this question, we're given a diagram which shows a prism with a cross section in the shape of a trapezium. We're told to use the centimetre grid below to draw the front elevation and the side elevation of the prism, and we need to use a scale of 2 centimetres to 1 metre. So an elevation is the 2D view of a 3D shape, when it is looked at from the side or from the front. And so looking at the front, which we'll label in blue, we can see that the front of the shape will have these two 2D shapes. We'll have this side, and we'll have the side directly behind it, over here. And so we have these two identical trapeziums. But it's not quite as simple for the side elevation, which we'll label in pink. The side elevation will include this rectangle, but another non-identical rectangle directly behind it. And so let's use these shapes in order to draw the front elevation and the side elevation of the prism on the scale below. So we'll start with the front elevation. And so looking at the front elevation, we can see that we have a trapezium. We do the same for both sides. So we have the front elevation and then the side directly behind it is an identical trapezium, which we discussed earlier. And so we have a little screenshot of the diagram in the corner below for reference. So let's start by drawing the front elevation. We have a height of 2 metres, and so using the scale, we can see that if 2 centimetres is to 1 metre, 4 centimetres will be equal to 2 metres. So let's draw a 4 centimetre line. Next we have 2 metres going horizontally, and so this will be another 4 centimetres on our diagram. We then have a side length of 0 0.5 metres, and so if 2 centimetres represents 1 metre, if we half that, we'll get 1 centimetre represents 0.5 metres, and so we'll draw in a 1 centimetre line on our diagram. And to complete this trapezium, we need to draw a line from here all the way down to here. But we can't just leave it unfinished, we need to label our diagram. And so we know that this is 2 metres, and then this side is also 2 metres. Then we have the short side, which is 0.5 metres, and then don't forget to add in the right angle over here and the right angle over here. And so that's how we've completed our front elevation. Now let's move on to the side elevation. And so we have a rectangle, which we looked at earlier, and a slightly larger rectangle directly behind. So let's see how we approach the elevation. The rectangle has a width of one meter, which using the scale, we can draw as a two centimeter line on our grid. And so the small rectangle at the front, which we'll label again in pink, we have this small rectangle, is 0 0.5 meters high. And so we can say that there's a one centimeter line going upwards on either side. And so let's close this shape off by drawing the final line. But then that's not all there is for the side elevation because there's a side at the back that we looked at earlier. And so we need to continue to draw in order to fit this in. And so the shape at the back has a height of 2 metres, which we discussed would be 4 centimetres in our grid. We've already drawn 1 centimetre to account for the 0 0.5 metres in the smaller rectangle, but let's continue this line in order to get this to 2 metres. And so we need 4 squares, so 2, 3 and 4, and so we'll do the same on the other side. And then finally we need to close the shape off at the top. So now looking at the prism again, we have the smaller rectangle, and then we have this line over here, which we've drawn in our diagram in the solid line. Now we can add in our dimensions. And so we said that this side is 0 0.5 meters, and it'll be the same for this side. And then the total height is equal to two meters. So we'll draw a line and two arrows to show that we're talking about the full height. And we said that this is equal to two meters. And we know that the width of the rectangle is one meter and then one meter above over here. And so now we've drawn our front elevation and our side elevation. Now this question is worth four marks. So let's take a look at where we get these four marks. So the first mark is for the front elevation and for drawing it as a trapezium, which is two meters by two meters by 0 0.5 meters and including all the relevant annotations, which we've done clearly in this diagram. So one for the trapezium and another mark for the dimensions. And then for our side elevation, we have one mark for drawing correctly the rectangle 
with this solid line over here, which denotes that there are two different shapes as we've looked at in the actual prism. And so that's one mark for the actual shape. And then that final fourth mark for including all the relevant dimensions and annotations, which we've clearly included in our diagram.